we see dogs that have been in the shelter for a year, two years, and they are still so sweet, so trusting of humans, so willing to just come over and cuddle and give kisses. So I think, I think there's a lesson in there for all of us. A last hope for many shelters in the rural parts of Arkansas. This week, a group from Massachusetts came down to the natural state to help out several animal shelters in the area. They're called Last Hope Canine Rescue, and this year they donated a massive gift to the city of Carlisle. Yeah, the group raised almost $100,000 for a new shelter, and this donation was part of a larger event that happens every single year. Madison Gaffner joins us live in studio. Madison, tell us about the trip. Well, Gary, Jessica, they both shared that for these rural area shelters, this is sometimes the only help that they receive throughout the year and that they wouldn't be able to provide these animals, excuse me, for these animals without it. It gives them resources to be able to make a difference, gives them that hope. Six days, nine shelters, 36 volunteers, thousands of miles from Massachusetts and thousands of animals' lives impacted, all because of almost $100,000 raised. Amber Zijak seeing these lasting effects at Last Hope Canine Rescue leaves starting in Monticello. They were upgrading a, a room that was used to be used for storage in the shelter to make it into like a medical quarantine room for the dogs. Alexa Collins explaining the importance of in-house treatments, then on to Pine Bluff. We put in four AC units at one of the shelter buildings helping to cool the animals and dry the ground for better cleaning and safety, but also helping with the animals behavior. All of the dogs had sort of stopped barking and whining and just kind of like laid down and started relaxing, no more panting. So something like that for dogs that are in a shelter can make such a big difference. Then out to Carlisle for their biggest project, building a whole animal shelter from this to this. And so this year for the first time we are putting up a building. You can see it behind me. Uh, exterior has gone up. They're working on the framing inside right now, putting in those kennels, um, heating, cooling, all that stuff. Helping keep disease down and comfort and playtime on the rise. Issues that Last Hope Canine Rescue focused on for areas also in Stuttgart, Sheridan, Redfield, Kensett, Camden, and Malvern. If it's a quality of life issue for the animals in that shelter, then it, it's an issue that they want to concentrate on. These volunteers explained that all the money raised went directly toward the animal shelter. They paid out of their pockets for travel expenses because it's more important that the shelter see all the money since most cities don't have a shelter budget put in place for them to maintain and provide care year round. I'm Madison Gaffner reporting live here in studio. Now back to you.